Welcome back everybody, this is Travis here of Fisher Hex, and today's video, as promised, we're going to go ahead and cure the black spot disease, aka black ick. If you're not aware of this, it's actually not the ick parasite at all, it is a worm, and I'll put the name of the worm on the screen right now so you know what I'm talking about. And uh, the only effective way to really kill it is with this product, uh, Prazi Pro. Alright, that specifically targets that worm, and uh, it also targets tapeworm, uh, flatworms, and flukes, okay? And uh, basically, I'm going to use it in conjunction with the copper mean. Now, this is the first time I've done that, but I've been reading a lot on the forums and had a lot of positive feedback uh, regarding people um, using both of these products together to not only treat uh, other parasites, but to also treat the worm as well. So we're going to go ahead and put uh, that in both of the sections because of the water transfer. Now, I'm only seeing small signs of black ick on the sailfin. Now, he was really bad at one point, and then I added the copper. He's getting better. But um, I'm seeing small signs of it, so we're going to go ahead and finish them off with that product. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the recommended dose. Now each section is approximately 8 gallons and they are saying to use uh, 1 teaspoon per 20 gallons of water and then we're going to convert that to milliliters so it's uh, 1 teaspoon equals 5 milliliters and since they're about 8 gallons uh, we're going to go ahead and do about 2 milliliters per section. Now we're going to come back in 5 to 7 days see how they're doing and observe the fish and if we have to do another dose we will but they should be good to go between the copper mean and this product there really shouldn't be anything left on these fish and then uh, hopefully uh, you know we'll observe them for another week or two after they are out of uh, out of this hypo and out of these products all that kind of stuff and we'll go ahead and um, put them in the main display hopefully so uh, let's go ahead and get that dosing done and um, we will be good to go so it says shake vigorously and that seems good enough first time opening this so do it this way it is on there man they talk about, talk about using a seal holy shit all right we're gonna have to mess with that later so uh this is a one milliliter syringe and like i said we're gonna do two of these in each section so go ahead and get into the middle section one uh, it said that it, will, it has a ability to produce bubbles, so we'll be looking out for that. So that's two in that section. Let's go ahead and get over to the sail fin. All right. And one more. We'll be good to go. All right, so uh, that is the first initial dose. I'll notate that on the side of the quarantine system as I usually do for all my dosing. And um, we'll keep this syringe after I rinse it off together with this bottle, and we'll be good to go. Uh, in other news, I got in my uh, oh, tube holder here. Remember, the other one broke from the previous video. So we're going to open it up. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll use it as a tube or a syringe holder. I did before, so we're going to take this off. It actually uh, came in. So this is what a normal one looks like. Just in case you're doing, these are $9.99 on eBay. And this one actually, after I put in uh, the request for a new one because of the shipper broke the previous one, they actually shipped it out really quickly. I got it in like three days from China, so I'm, I'm not mad about that. And we'll go ahead and open these up just to fit the syringes in there. And let's go ahead and adjust this so you know what I'm talking about. So I got my little, where I keep my meds, I mean my dosing stuff. We might put these back on there, but uh, let's see here. Aha. Loosen it up a little bit more. There we go. All right, we'll leave that one out. That one's got a nice sharp needle on it. Magnesium, calcium. I guess it's better than keeping them all over the place, huh? And I guess we can probably fit this one on there. Just make sure the cap doesn't come off. This is what I use to kill Aptasia. Aha. Sweet. Now that's a place to put them. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. I appreciate you watching. Um, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, put in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace.